Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news from the Catch EOS team. They just dropped a new ISO snapshot of their Arch Linux-based distribution for June 2024, and there's a lot to unpack here. So let's dive right in. First up, one of the biggest highlights of this release is the support for new hardware. Specifically, the T2 MacBook now gets some love in the default Catch EOS edition. This is pretty huge for anyone wanting to install an Arch Linux-based distro on their MacBook. But, um, there's a little catch. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth aren't going to work right out of the box. You'll need to patch the installed OS by following some additional instructions. So, if you're up for a bit of an adventure and like tinkering with your setup, this might be right up your alley. Now, if installing Linux on a MacBook isn't really your thing, no worries. The Catchy OS Handheld Edition has just had its first stable release with this June 2024 snapshot. This is perfect for those of you looking to install Linux on a portable device. Think Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, or the Asus ROG Ally. The devs have worked hard to make sure that Catchy OS hardware detection includes these devices and configures the system accordingly. They even mentioned that it should generally support Ioneo devices, although they haven't tested this directly yet. And for those of you with NVIDIA GPUs, there's some good news too. The June 2024 release brings the beta version of the upcoming NVIDIA 555 graphics driver series. This includes explicit GPU sync support and other enhancements. Plus, there are patched compositors with explicit sync support and improved sleep on Wayland. All of these improvements should make for a smoother and more efficient experience. Another cool addition in this release is a new script called Catchy Crute. This script will guide you through the crude process and help you correctly mount the partition. It also has the ability to properly detect BTRFS subvolumes, which is a nice touch. Speaking of BTRFS, that's now the default file system for new installations, replacing XFS. And if you have enough RAM on your computer, you can copy the CatchyOS ISO to RAM to improve the boot experience. They've also replaced the firewall firewall with UFW, and various components have been updated to their latest releases. If you want to check out all the details, head over to the release announcement page. You can download the new Catchy OS June 2024 release right now from the official website. The desktop edition features the latest KDE Plasma 6, 0.5 desktop environment, and is powered by Linux 6.9, which is pretty awesome. So that's the rundown of the new Catchy OS June 2024 release. There's a lot of exciting stuff here, whether you're installing on a MacBook, a handheld device, or just upgrading your current setup. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.